Iraqi soldiers walk the streets of Tal Afar in a neighborhood freshly liberated from the Islamic State group. They're searching for any dangers the militants may have left behind. While inspecting these liberated districts, we found storage warehouses and these rigged vehicles. We are continuing our search of the entire area. Iraqi officials say their forces now control over two-thirds of Tal Afar and that the Iraqi flag is flying from its central citadel. Although pockets of the jihadists remain and clashes continue on the northern outskirts of the city. When Islamic State militants took control of Tal Afar in 2014, it was a city of 200,000 people, mostly ethnic Turkmen. Now it is believed between 10 and 40,000 remain in the city, after waves of people fled in the months leading up to the offensive, many arriving at camps with wounds from mines and sniper fire. When the army overtakes a position from the Islamic State group, the families flee and basically end up in a desert. They don't have access to water or shelter. They're without clothes and cooking supplies. Tal Afar lies on the strategic road that connects Islamic State-controlled territory in Syria with the group's former stronghold in Mosul, retaken by coalition forces in July. Once Iraqi forces fully recapture Tal Afar, they'll set their sights on Hawija, 300 kilometers north of Baghdad.